How many people have been charged with crimes of violence in connection with the events on January 6th? Senator, I'm not sure exactly how many uh, have been charged with crimes of violence. I know that there are okay. many. How, how many have been charged with nonviolent crimes? Uh, I don't have the numbers of people charged, whether at the state or federal level. I know okay. that there how are. How many people are currently incarcerated concerning the events of January 6th? I don't know the number of people incarcerated. Again, I know that I, how I many do have. Ha okay, let me ask you that. Look, we have limited time, so I don't want you to filibuster. You either know the answer or you don't. How many people have been placed in solitary confinement concerning the events of January 6th? I don't have any information about that, Senator. You know, Mr. Olson, I will say it was sad. Senator Lee just asked you about this. Back in June of 2021, Senator Lee and I and two other senators sent a letter to the Department of Justice asking these questions, asking about the differential prosecutions. Let me ask you, during 2020, Black Lives Matter and Antifa riots all across the country. There were over 700 police officers injured by Black Lives Matter and Antifa riots. How many people have been charged with crimes of violence concerning those riots all across the country? I don't have information on how many. I, I would say, you know, hundreds of people have been charged, as, as Ms. You, Sanborn. You would say, but, but you don't know. You know, when we asked you why the Biden Department of Justice has such wildly disparate standards going after January 6th, targeting some people who committed crimes of violence, and anyone who commits a crimes of, of violence should be prosecuted, but also targeting a lot of nonviolent individuals, we asked you why is it that you won't target the rioters and terrorists who firebomb cities across this country. The answer we got from the Department of Justice was shameful. On October 22nd, you came back and said, quote, the department has dedicated investigative and prosecutorial resources commensurate with the significance of these events. By significance, I guess it means the political benefit to the Biden White House. And I will tell you, there are a great many Americans who are understandably deeply concerned about the politicization of the Department of Justice under President Joe Biden. It has been 218 days since we sent you that letter. DOJ refused to answer the letter today when Senator Lee and I asked you about it. Your answer to every damn question is, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You're under oath. You may believe at the Department of Justice that you are unaccountable to the American people, but that is not the case, and the wildly disparate standards are unacceptable. Ms. Sandberg, I want to turn to the FBI. How many FBI agents or confidential informants actively participated in the events of January 6th? Sir, I'm sure you can appreciate that I can't go into the specifics of sources and methods. Uh, Did any the, FBI agents any FBI or agents confidential or informants confidential actively, actively participate in the events of January 6th? Yes, yes or no? Sir, I can't, I can't answer that. Did any FBI agents any or confidential FBI informants commit crimes of violence on January 6th? I can't answer that, sir. Did any FBI agents any or FBI informants actively encourage and incite crimes of violence on January 6th? Sir, I can't answer that. Ms. Sadburn, Ms. who is Ray Epps? Yeah. I'm aware of the individual, sir. Uh, I don't have the specific background to him. Well, there are a lot of well, people who are understandably very are concerned, understandably about, Mr. concerned Epps. about Mr. Epps. On the night of January 5th, 2021, Epps wandered around the crowd that had gathered. And there's video out there of him chanting, tomorrow, we need to get into the Capitol, into the Capitol. This was strange behavior, so strange that the crowd began chanting, fed, 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 fed. Ms. Sandburn, was Ray Epps a fed? Sir, I cannot answer that question. The next day, the next day, on January 6th, Mr. Epps is seen whispering to a person, and five seconds later, five seconds after he's whispering to a person, that same person begins to forcibly tear down the barricades. Did Mr. Epps urge them to tear down the barricades? Sir, Similar to the other answers, I cannot answer that. 
Shortly thereafter, the FBI put out a public post listing, seeking information on individuals connected with violent crimes on January 6th. Among those individuals in the bottom there is Mr. Epps. The FBI publicly asked for information identifying, offering cash rewards leading to information, leading to, for information leading to the arrest. This was posted and then sometime later, magically, Mr. Epps disappeared from the public posting. According to public records, Mr. Epps has not been charged with anything. No one's explained why a person videoed urging people to go to the Capitol, a person whose conduct was so suspect the crowd believed he was a Fed, would magically disappear from the list of people the FBI was looking at. Ms. Sanborn, a lot of Americans are concerned that the federal government deliberately encouraged illegal and violent conduct on January 6th. My question to you, and this is, a, this is not an ordinary law enforcement question, this is a question of a public accountability. Did federal agents or those in service of federal agent actively encourage violent and criminal conduct on January 6th? Not to my knowledge, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Senator Leahy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking that middle button. Also, check out our previous video by clicking the video on the right or a video you might enjoy by clicking the video on the left. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share this video on social media. Peace.